Is it possible that you can overuse dialogue and conversations in your stories and disconnect from your audience? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. For the last eight years, I've been a huge proponent of a concept called dialogue in stories. This means not narrating or reporting the facts, but actually taking the audience into the scene with you, using the words of your characters to make it feel like we're right there in the scene with them. This is a powerful technique, and it's used by very few presenters. However, you can overuse this technique, and if you do, it makes it sound like you're in a stage play. Here's a quick example using these three different techniques. Number one is the reporter mode. This is the scene where I was sitting in my boss's office in 1994. In reporter mode, I would say I was sitting in my boss's office. He read the reviews to me. They weren't good. I had this awful reaction, and he told me that if I didn't change this, I'd be fired. That's reporter mode. Not very compelling. This is the dialogue-only version. I'm sitting in my boss's office. Joe, what's going on? Michael, we need to go over these evaluations from your last workshop. Oh, this should be pretty good. I put together a lot of good PowerPoints. I gave them so much information, they must have been happy. Michael, this isn't good. What do you mean, Joe? This is what people are writing about you. Way too much information. Felt overloaded. Couldn't concentrate. Guy never stands still. I got distracted. Talk too fast. Way too much too fast. Michael, this is not acceptable. When we hired you, we told you that you would have to do this, and you guaranteed me that you could get people into the door. Fix this or else. See how that's just one long stream of consciousness back and forth? That's full dialogue mode. What is the answer? Dialogue with just a bit of narration. Here's the third version, which should sound better to you. I'm sitting in my boss's office, and I said, Joe, what's going on? He said, Michael... We need to go over these evaluations from your last workshop. My first thought was, oh, this should be pretty good. I put a lot of work into this. I had a lot of great PowerPoint slides. I gave them so much information. This is going to be a really good evaluation. Joe looked at me and said, Michael, this isn't good. I said, what do you mean, Joe? He pulled out his notebook and said, these are the the comments that people are making about you. Way too much information, I couldn't concentrate. I thought, what? Guy moves around way too much, couldn't focus. I thought, you gotta be kidding me. This guy talks way too fast, couldn't get all, take, take down enough notes. He closed the notebook and said, Michael, you know when we hired you, You assured me that you could get us clients through these workshops. This is not acceptable. Fix this or else. Could you see the difference? Could you feel the difference? Did you feel like you were in that office with me as opposed to the other two scenes? It was a natural back and forth with small breaks to point out who was speaking and a couple of actions. He opened up his notebook. He closed the notebook. That is a more natural progression of a story with dialogue to still make the people, the audience, feel like they're there and convey the emotion. The answer to the question, can you overuse dialogue? Yes, you can. You've just seen it happen. If you mix a little bit of narration in with mostly dialogue, though, you can create a scene which is remarkable, memorable, and leaves a lasting impression on your audience.